How you guys doing today? This is No Skills, and today it is only me doing this video right now. Uh, so what Rainbow and Ponytail are going to be doing is we're going to be showing off our decks for you, uh, just going through it really quickly, and we will be do updating our decks in the future and showing you what the updates are going to be so you can see how we evolved as card players. And you know, it's always fun to update your decks, especially when cards are out of rotation or when new sets come out and you can add a really cool card to it. So what I run is a Mega Beedrill EX deck, and what I have right here is I run three Beedrill EXs. Uh, it's not that useful unless uh, you know you have you're going against a dark Garbodor, and the double scrapper ability is really useful to like, help uh, unblock those abilities. Then I run three Mega Beedrill EX uh, with the Hazard Stinger attack and what you do is you uh, discard your energy and it does 40 damage and it poisons and paralyzes your opponent's Pokemon and instead of doing one damage per poison turn it's 40 damage so you really rack up that damage in the long run then I run three copies of Yanma nothing useful there Then three copies of Yen Mega. I like using the Steam Siege pre-release one. I think that's a better artwork. But it has the ability Sonic Vision. If you have exactly four cards in your hand, then you do not need to have energy to uh, use that attack, which is really useful, especially when you use the Hazard Singer. Don't have any energy on your uh, Mega Beedrill EX. Uh, they both have free retreats. They can switch back and forth. And that way, you know, you paralyze them with the Beedrill, switch to the N Mega, or the N Mega Break. I run three copies of these, just to add, you know, HP and attack. But you switch back and forth between these guys, poison, paralyze, switch, uh, free attack, always helpful. Uh, the uh, Yen Mega Break has the Barrier Break attack, which is awesome, especially when you're going against Pokemon that, you know, prevent damage from being done and that barrier break attack actually helps go right through that. Then I have two copies of Remoraid just so that you can evolve into Octillery which I also have two copies of. I like using the Reverse Hollow for him uh, with the uh, ability Abysmal Hand to help get five cards into your hand. A lot of people run like this kind of deck with a Shaman but I really won two reasons. I don't you know, want to pay so much money for a Shaman, and two, in the long run, say if you're winning, it's really hard to get those energies back on your Mega Beedrill EX. Uh, Octillery's Abysmal Hand will help get uh, those cards in. Say if you at least have one card you can use in your hand. So what you do is you use Abysmal Hand, get the five cards, and then use that one card that you were going to use to get four cards in your hand. Then boom, free re um, attack. For Yan Mega break, Yan Mega, and then you are good to go. So let's go over to the uh, stadium cards now. So for the stadium cards, what I use is the Forest of Giant Plants to help get my uh, Mega Beedrill and my Yan Mega break, most importantly, evolved right away. That's the only stadium card I run. But it's really easy having that first turn advantage when you evolve right away. Get set up, great feel. So for the item cards, what I run is three copies of Beedrill Spirit Link to help evolve my Beedrill EX up right away without having to end my turn. Four copies of Ultra Ball to help get the Pokemon I want. It's also good to uh, get rid of your energies first thing to help get that Mega Turbo going so you can attack pretty much on your first uh, attempt. Three copies of Mega Turbo to help get that energy back on in the long run. Two copies of Revitalizer to help get my Pokemon back into my hand. Especially useful if, uh, you know, in the long run when you need to get your hand back to four if you don't have your Octillery in there. Also, if they knock out your Yanmega break and you still have a Yama in the bench, 
have your farce giant plants up there, pull the revitalizer, and there you go, you got your Yon Mega Break back in there. One copy of Town Map. Two copies of Max Potion. Only two. And uh, that's also useful when, you know, Beedrill EX uh, discards its uh, energy cards, so you can heal it up right away. Yon Mega shouldn't have any uh, energy on it anyway, so there. Pretty much for healing them all, full, uh, all the way. Um, two copies of Floatstone. Rever I use the Reverse Hollow. Uh, you only want to be putting that on your Octillery. I only run one Super Rod. Sometimes you don't want to get your energy back into your uh, deck. Sometimes you just want to uh, get your Pokemon back. Um, I'm using it from the black and white, I think it's called uh, Dragon's Vault. I don't remember. I wasn't into the black and white error. Sorry for that. And then four copies of VS Seeker to get those supporters back in your hand. And that you'll see why that's very important. So these are all the items that I run. And next will be the supporter cards. Alright, so we don't run that many supporters here. So what I got is one copy of Lysander. To help, you know, pull out that one Pokemon that, you know, really needs to be damaged. Or maybe you need to pause, you know, not pause, but, you know, draw out a turn or two to help that pull out a Pokemon that can't retreat that well. I run one copy of Judge. Uh, each p opponent shuffles four uh, cards into their hand. Sometimes it's fun to troll somebody on your first hand and, you know, ha have them get rid of, you know, a lot of cards. Um, also, when you are playing your Yon Mega Break and you need four cards in your hand, that'll help you out. Four copies of N. I like to run the promo one from white, uh, Black and White. You should all know what N does. And only two copies of Professor Sycamore. To help get the max amount of cards in your hand. And next will be the energies. Okay, and for the energies, we run eight grass energy. Nothing fancy, just eight grass. The only Pokemon that you should be putting this on is Beedrill EX. No other Pokemon in this deck requires energy. Alright guys, so that's my deck. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, give me whatever comments you have about my deck. I've been running this since that Beedrill EX box actually came out. I've been really wanting that card for the longest time ever since it was announced. I knew I wanted to run that card. But please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I also forgot to mention, you know, I like to run my orange dice. And the coin I like to use is my Totodile. As you can tell, I really love Totodile. He's so cute! But please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm No Skills, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.